Hi, I'm Isaac and welcome to Wanderers 2040. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday. Today we are down here at the prestigious Henson Park to watch the Newtown Jets up against the Newcastle Knights. And they have just went onto the field, the Newcastle Knights, to start their training session. And today we're going to be remembering the great Tommy Radonigas. So there you see in the sign, thanks Tommy, and thank you very much Tommy for what you've done for the rugby league community and the world in itself. Today I'm down here at Henson Park joined by John Trad Bikeman. Welcome. Thank you. Well, so riding the bike around Henson Park when Newtown scored, where did that all start for you? Well, it happened, I used to be cameraman for the Jets and uh, my camera broke and then I, I had nothing to do so I took my bike here and uh, we scored a try in the last minute and I just got on the bike and did a lap and uh, I got a good reaction, kids were chasing, high five, it was fun and I thought, well I'll keep bringing it to the game and then I got a call saying my camera was okay and I said, don't worry about the camera. I'm going to ride the bike from now on. So that was about 10 years ago. So when the news hit about the passing of the great Tommy Radonigas, how did you feel? Gutted like everybody else. Everybody who has ever met or seen him play were gutted, absolutely gutted. It was a shock. Now I heard that you were raising funds for every lap you made and how many how many laps have you done? Oh and God, that, oh, that year was great. Oh, it wasn't that great because Jets weren't playing, but it was great that we raised, we raised over $10,000 with laps with Traddy, I did over 800 laps and that equal to something like 480 kilometres. Today I am joined here again down here at Henson Park with the ex-club president who was club president for 33 years. Welcome. Thank you very much. So when the news hit you of Tommy Radonikas' death, how did you feel? I felt it's very sad because he gives a lot to the game. He loves the game and he was very good to young people that he met. He would always give them good instruction and tell them never give in. I am down here at Henson Park again, joined by Braden Trinder. Welcome, Braden. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. So when the news hit about Tommy Radonigas, how did it hit you? Uh, it's pretty heartfelt. Um, he's a big name to the club. Um, a few clubs, not only Newtown, but um, it's obviously uh, very saddening news. Hey, brother, thank you. Thank you. So, when the news hit about the passing of the great Tommy Radonigas, how did you feel? It was so sad because um, Tommy was a guy who uh, had a big impact on my life, my family's life, a lot of people. So, how does it feel having Jack play today on such a special occasion? It's surreal. You know, time just goes quick. It sounds uh, crazy to you, but it does. You know, one minute I'm your age, next minute you know, you'll be 50, and now I'm watching my son out here playing. It's uh, yeah, it's surreal. Because I remember coming down here when I was a really young boy to watch Newtown play, and uh, now to see him at the same ground playing is pretty weird. Thank you very much for coming on You're today, Maddie. Thank you very much. Hell of a time. Tommy Radonigas, you'll never be forgetting, buddy. And thank you very much for what you've done for the rugby league community.